All right, hey, what? Oh, is this thing on? Oh, hey, hey, hey. All right, what's going on, you wonderful people? So last night, I tried doing a live stream on Twitch. I mean, nobody showed up, of course, which is fine, because I announced it, like, I don't know, like two minutes into it. I figured I would tear down the video from Twitch and do some editing here, just so you can see the kind of stuff I did and wrap it into a shorter format. So what I'm working on is I'm finally making characters for this animated series. Now listen, I gotta make maybe over, who knows man, I could be making dozens of these things. So I wanted to be smart about it and I wanted to use that like technical animation knowledge I have to create a modular system for generating these characters. By modular I mean that I'm creating all the pieces, I'm kind of getting like this naked base puppet to work properly and then I'll go ahead and start uh, designing off of that to create a cast of characters and eventually I'll end up building a, a big library of heads and eyes and mouths and noses and all this kind of cool stuff. So that's what I did last night is I took uh, that base character and I created the first character I'm going to need which is a reporter. Now I don't want to give away too much of what this animated series is going to be about. Uh, I will be posting like more information and uh, other videos over on the on the Patreon page for those of you who want to donate to this project and get involved. Um, but for the rest of you, I'd rather keep you a little in the dark so you're, you know, that you don't get any spoilers, right? So uh, the first character is a reporter and the reporter should have this look that's kind of like a, almost futuristic. Like I'm, I'm imagining a newscaster um, kind of in the future, sort of mixed with like that Hunger Games. I don't know if you've seen the Hunger Games, but there was the, um, the talk show sort of announcer dude and uh just wearing like a really audacious suit and this kind of crazy hairdo and all this kind of stuff uh, so i'm shooting towards that not quite that much so what i'm going to do tonight is or what i did last night that's confusing is i painted over and created a uh, i created this character and then tested it out in adobe character animator so in this video, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get a little bit of speed painting. I'm going to stop and talk about some of the decisions I make, uh, which I think if you're trying to make your own Adobe character animator puppets, hopefully my mistakes will be to your gain. Uh, so I'm going to talk about some of those mistakes and I just throw in some little things like where I talk about uh, cast shadow and form shadow, um, different stuff like that. So stay tuned if that interests you. And uh, if you'd like to check out my live streams, I'm trying to get this down. I keep dropping internet connection or something, but I did make it 50 whole minutes last night. I'd like to actually maybe start doing those on YouTube because there's gonna be a lot of process and I just really don't wanna sit and edit all these videos. Uh, I wanna focus more on getting the content done for the animated series and then focus on getting uh, some more tutorials out the door for you know Pencil 2D and uh, specifically for Adobe Character Animator and later for After Effects and all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah, wow, that was maybe way too much information. But anyways, you can check it out. Just, uh, I'll try to announce the live streams. I'm gonna try to do them on YouTube and I'm just gonna plop them up as, as videos that you can watch uh, later on. Cool? All right, here we go, everybody. I'm still making decisions when it comes to amount of detail I'm gonna put into these characters. You know, I'm looking at like shadows, cast shadows, and outline. Uh, if I look at OK Samurai or a lot of the Adobe character animator puppets that are out as examples, they don't have a lot of line work on the outside of the image because that can interfere when the character starts animating. Like, especially if I were to draw around this arm here, and then that line might show up when I go to rotate the character's shoulder. So what I'm planning on doing is uh, like form shadows, but not so many cast shadows. I'd like to try to do cast shadows in some sort of dynamic way so I could get mood lighting throughout this piece. Let me just stop and explain what that means real quick, just in case some of you don't know, the difference between a form shadow and cast shadow. All right, let's say I have a cylinder, and this cylinder is going to have form shadow. So what does form shadow mean? Well, let's say we have a light here, boom, boom, and this is it. Form shadow is like the way uh, light diffuses over the form of an object. So where the light hits here, you're going to have the brightest spot. And then as you get away from that light source, 
the light falls off and falls off and falls off and I won't get all crazy detail with that but that is a form shadow and then your cast shadow is the shadows that are cast by objects onto another object and so something like that and it's probably gonna be darker and yada 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 now here's the thing though objects can cast shadows on themselves so if we had some fold in here I was picking up this this white light, this bright hot light, and then it started to fall off as it went around its form, something along those lines. Then at some point, this thing, this fold, might cast a shadow on the cylinder, in which case you'd end up with that darker shadow at, the, at sort of the height of the fold, right? Something like that. So these I might draw in, but I'm just going to be sparing and not go crazy with it. So one way I decided to go about doing textures was just to bring a texture into Photoshop, like an image, and then use the different overlays until it looked right. I left a lot of the body parts as vector art, like especially the head, the eyelids, and um, that sort of thing. So I could just come in here and edit these vector points to change the shape of my head. This is part of that modularity that I'm shooting for where I can easily create a whole variety of characters. So now I'm just going to edit those shapes a little bit and then I'm going to bake down or rasterize uh, these shapes so I can go ahead and do some additional um, painting over top of them. The other nice thing about having shapes in here is that I can change the line with the color as well as the fill color. In this case I've decided to go ahead and get rid of the lines because I, I want to use, if I'm going to use lines at all, I'm going to use like an actual brush so I can get um, like different line quality out of this. But uh, what's nice is I can now change these eyebrows to gray very easily by just editing the shape color. Once I'm done editing the left side, I just go ahead and delete the right side, duplicate over the left side, and then scale that at negative 100%. That saves me a ton of time, and I'll do this for everything, like the eyes, the arms, everything. In the stillness somewhere above, the city lights you're falling. Now, in my humble opinion, the nose is one of the most important parts of this whole face. A uh, nose really sells the character, and if you're trying to characterize someone, especially if they have like a prominent nose shape and you capture that, it just instantaneously looks like them. So here I'm going, you know, I don't know, this guy maybe he has a cute little button nose, he's had some plastic surgery, just a nice, neat, cute nose.
Alright. Let me set my rest pose. Let me set my rest pose, everybody. I can make this bigger so you can see now what's happening. Alright. So I got my microphone on and I'll get it in my face a little more. And actually if you pour more light on yourself, this tends to work even better. So, you know, there's already problems you see. Um with the eyelids and how that's behaving but uh, I can turn the head around and do all the stuff up and down seems to not love me too much but it might be because of the lighting so I've got this saved now here I'm gonna go into the rig panel I click the default character over here in the little project panel then I'll be able to see uh, this thing where I can choose a path and I'll just go on up to my reporter and I'll choose that and hopefully things won't completely explode oh hey look everybody things did not completely explode that's so awesome all right hey let's just do a quick test animation here we go all right hey oh is this thing on oh hey 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 what How's it going? How, did, did you like that last tweet you just read? That was a good one, right? That was really funny. I was like, ha ha ha, that's a funny tweet. Oh wait, what? What? Oh, I'm sorry, I I didn't know it was, oh. Oh wow, oh, okay, wow. Yeah, so. Hey, hey, you know, hey, you don't have to get all snippy with me. I mean, I just thought it, the tweet was funny, that's all, okay? All right, that was a lot of fun. Next steps with this character, I'm gonna just sort of pour over that animation I made. Uh, I'm already noticing things I wanna fix. I'm gonna go back in, maybe refine some of the details and styling. I'd like to, I'd really, really like to get your opinion. Like, what do you think about it? Um, what were some of the things in particular I was looking for? Oh yeah, like, what about the level of texturing? Do you think I should texture these characters more? Uh, do you like the long oblong eyes? What about like eye lashes? You know, should we see some uh, some like dark lines under the eyelids to indicate you know eyelashes? Um, all that kind of stuff. I mean, anything really you want to tell me about uh, the character design? I'd love to hear it and get this uh, looking as good as possible. And then the animation. Uh, there's two styles I can do here. I I'll actually show you. So I can do this sort of a frame to frame or pose to pose animation where the character pops into each pose or I can have this smooth animation uh, like this so tell me which one of those you like better I, I'm really interested to hear I, I think they both have their own kind of like neat value to them but uh, I just like to see what everybody's preference is alright thanks again for joining me everybody hey everybody Griff here Listen, if you enjoy this content, please leave a like down below. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if there's something you'd like to see me cover in a future video, just leave a comment. If you want to stay up to date on the latest happenings, you can follow me on Twitter at GriffinAnimator. If you visit me on Partello, I can make an Adobe Character Animator puppet just like this. Or you can just feel free to support me on Patreon, uh, where you'll get some really sweet rewards. Alright, that's it. We'll catch you all next time.